Local authorities erased a mural bearing the faces of the Robredo Pangilinan tandem in Echage Isabela on Thursday. They insisted that they can do that under the Oplan Baklas program even if the wall is part of a private property. <laughs> After this, the owners seem to have left with no choice but to just give a sign of approval. The owner then asked if they could use pink paint, Robredo's campaign color, but they turned down the request. <laughs> Robredo supporters eventually decided to paint over the race mural, this time using plain pink paint. Support also poured online after the incident. Although murals are not mentioned in the Fair Elections Act, the Comelec said these are treated as posters. Yeah, clearly. Um, because a, a poster is, is uh, any material that promotes the victory of, of, a, of a candidate. No? And uh, yung ating rules speaks of any campaign propaganda material. So, by some interpretation, pasok yung mural dyan. Again, in this case, clearly, trinato siya bilang poster. The presence of uniformed personnel during the complex Oplan Baklas operations was also questioned by some. The National Police said they can be tapped. Mama, kung uh, may mga instances po na kailangan po yung tulong po ng PNP, again ma'am, no, uh, we are under the command and control and supervision po ng COMELEC, lalong-lalo na po sa bintong electa, electoral uh, uh, practice and uh, processes. But following public backlash, the poll body said they are now reviewing the guidelines under the Oplan Baklas program. Uh, we're not averse to looking at our rules again. And uh, in the past, we have uh, modified our rules. But while they're open to reviewing the implementation of Oplan Baklas, the poll body insists that they have the authority to regulate the posting of campaign materials. In fact, the Comelec says that owners who refuse to remove illegal campaign materials may face complaints. For News 5, Greg Gregorio, we are One News.